and Sarah and Austin just did a photo shoot for the RV. Well, we need these pictures for the RV, for the big roll. I don't know if y'all know about that yet. But long story short, we were just over there doing a photo shoot. Sarah left our bare crossbow on the ground with a bolt. Fortuitous folks must go hunt. Only got one arrow. This is Mr. Matt Cunningham. Here you go, hold this crossbow. You ever shot a crossbow before? No. No? no. Have you ever hog hunted before? No. You're <laughs> unique, unique situation here. You're gonna shoot a crossbow for the first time at a hog that you've never hunted for. Um, when you hunt, this is your bolt. This is a sick broadhead. You want that arrow right behind the front shoulder. So if the hog's quartering away, bring the arrow back. You're trying to get that arrow to cross through here, mid body, center mass. You might ask yourself, how do I know this guy? Me and Sarah were up in Wisconsin for, was it Christmas? Yeah. Yeah, Christmas. And Sarah's like, babe, I found something on Facebook Marketplace. About three hours later, we're meeting with him and we buy his toy hauler. Well, how do you get a toy hauler from Wisconsin to Florida? You beg, and I'm like, hey bro, if you come down, I'll take you hog hunting. Next thing you know, toy hauler's in my front yard, we're on the buggy. Let's go do it. You can, there you go, perfect. Can you see through the, yeah. okay. Dead center is 20 yards. See how there's a notch below that, 30 yards? I'll tell you 20 yards, 30 yards, and just put the appropriate one right on it, and then I'll put it on fire, and then you're just gonna gently squeeze, but I'm gonna try to get you a rest. Only thing you gotta know, don't put your fingers up here.
my shoulder. You're going to use my shoulder as a rest. Okay? I'll show you when we get here. The one on the right, Austin. The one right. Right here, Austin. Hold on. Hey! Nothing like coming out and smoking three right off the bat. You just killed a giant. Hey, we had three bullets, we got three hogs. <laughs> what do you think about all of that? We put the stock on them bad boys. You haven't said a word yet. I catch my breath. <laughs> oh my gosh. So you may wonder, why did you have to shoot three? Why? Because the man who works these cows and takes care of this hay pasture, spends a lot of money making sure all this grass is here and if you don't manage the hogs they will literally destroy it all so these are going to be great to eat but i guarantee you mr charles he's going to be very happy dude is that your first hog <clears throat> yeah first anything <laughs> that's the first thing you've ever shot yeah well the tracking job's not going to be hard because he <laughs> literally covered up his tracks Holy smoke, catch your breath. I told you it was gonna be a real hunt. Dude, what a hog, man. See, if you look, this is all hog rooting. This is where they're out just destroying it, turning it over. That's a big hog. Big fat sow. Perfect stinking big fat black sow. <laughs> Got me a nice bar. Dude, look at this fat sow. I mean, that's a chunky mama. Here comes the meat wagon. <laughs> I don't know, boys. Little afternoon delight. Oh, that's a fat sow there, boy. Oh, God. <laughs> that's the one you're gonna want to keep right there. We good, y'all. See you at camp. Hey, guess what, folks? Here's a scoop. Obviously, we just got done killing three awesome hogs. That was an amazing hunt. But I told you guys we were gonna catch it, clean it, and cook it. I had an issue today. I had a video get demonetized, and so I don't wanna risk that on this video. So I'm gonna pay you guys a little bit extra. Come on, buddy, that's Kari right there. I have known Kari since we were in high school chasing hogs and girls and everything else. Great guy, was in the army, and these are one of his buddies right there, who is also from, what's your name again? John Hawk. John Hawkaday, that's his son who's about to turn 18 years old. We won't be cleaning a hog, but we will be hunting another one. So let's go do that, y'all. And Austin's not here, so I'm cameraman. How y'all like that?
You got him! You got the hog! Whoa! <laughs> Homeboy just went straight ninja. These boys <laughs> spent time in the military and the in the US Army together. After 26 years, you're still brothers, man. Yeah. We're out here. I mean, what a what a wonderful day. Yeah. Thumbs up to all the men and women <laughs> serving in the US forces because freedom ain't free. That's right. Hey, what was this guy's specialty in military? He was a tow gunner. We shot anti-tank missiles and he's about the size of stuff you want to shoot with that. There you go, man. Absolutely, congratulations, man. Thank you, man. I gotta admit, it's really nice when my buddies are here loading the hogs for me. That, that makes it much nicer. So I don't know how many of y'all watch my social media, but, but yesterday I put on Facebook that I was looking for wood. That's the man right there, Dylan Fogelman. Anybody down here in South Florida, they know this guy right here. He has Fox Brown Outfitters, and uh, he says, man, I know where there's some orange wood. I said, say no more. I can taste it now. About to put up the camera and start loading wood. This cool, crisp day, it's been raining, drizzling. We've been working in the yard. It's a frog talk type of day. But uh, it's about to be a frog talk, frog talk type of lunch. Sorry I couldn't show you guys cleaning that hog, but you know what, I'm working with YouTube. I'm trying to figure out the parameters. I'm trying to figure out what we can show, what we cannot show. But that is a back strap. That's that muscle right there. Right there. And we're just gonna make one cut right down the center, half in two. That's called Everglades Cactus Dust. It's got a beautiful flavor to it. One of my favorites. No salt, no pepper, just some cactus dust. Take this, fold it over, press it. Now that seasoning is in the meat and is ready to go. For those of you who don't know, this is orange wood. It's very, very dense and hard. Um, it's got a very mild smoke flavor to it, but it's beautiful to cook on. This is called direct heat. I built a little fire with some charcoal in there. That is one little chunk of orange wood and we're gonna set it right in here, right there. All that's gonna do, that's gonna start generating some smoke and lay right over it. Nice and flat. We're holding tight right about 250 degrees. Let's take a peek. See how everything is just nice coals down there. That flame popped up because we're giving it oxygen. Mm. Look at that. Yes, sir. That's going to be good. Cook it nice and slow. It's going to be tender. That's right, John. Mm. Look at the color. Look at the moisture. Wow. Look at the color of that. You wanna be real careful not to overcook this. Mm. It has a smoky flavor, but it's a very mild smoky flavor. Typically, when you eat smoked foods, you taste more of the smoke than you do the meat. That is just phenomenal. You take an invasive, destructive wild hog, hunt it, clean it, cook it, and enjoy it. That's perfect, that's what hunting is, that's what food is all about, that's what life is all about. For those of you who don't know, we're planning a trip right now in April. We're gonna leave Florida and head to Alaska. We're gonna spend basically six, seven months on the road. We're gonna be in this RV. We're gonna be in that RV. We're gonna have a convoy. And I hope to see you along the way. But uh, that's all I got for today. Take care, God bless, and we gone.